Alright folks, what's up how things are you? I just wanna do another quick video here. It's gonna be a uh, episode two in the series of videos that I just recently started doing. Little horror movies that I haven't seen that I watched this week. And it's basically gonna focus on uh, horror movies that were had in my collection a long time that I haven't for some reason or, or another I haven't got around what to watch them yet. Or horror movies that I just picked up that I've never seen but I just watched. So anyway folks, here it is, I don't have that many this week, it's only a three movies here, it's been kind of about a week, week and trying to fucking watch new horror stuff that I haven't uh, seen before, so I don't know about the rest of you, I'm a motherfucker, I'll give them back the shit that I've seen and watched a hundred times before, just because I know that shit's rapid, but anyway here it is, episode two, in horror movies I've never watched before, I'm going to start off here with the waxwork here, it's from 1988. It's directed by uh, Anthony Hickox and it's starring Zach Gallion from uh, Gremlins and David Warner from, from uh, fucking The Almond. Yeah, it's, I have kind of mixed thoughts on this movie. It was okay, it wasn't the worst ever I've ever seen. It was kind of decent, but just it wasn't just, just wasn't brilliant in my opinion. I thought it could have been so much better than it was. like. Especially for an old school horror movie, I don't know if I can 100% recommend this movie, but it's not bad, but it's just not fucking great. I thought it should have been a lot better than it was. I mean, there's some decent, okay, little old school effects in it, but it just doesn't really fucking uh, live up to the standards. It's, this has got pretty good reviews from the stuff I've seen about it. Um, well, I think it is okay and it's decent, and I probably will watch it again. I thought it could have been so much better, but anyway, I'm showing them here. Box book there from 1988. You've seen the movie, tell me what you think, of folks. Now I'm going to the Boogeyman here from uh, 2005. This one was directed by Stephen K, I believe, and it was written by uh, Eric Kripke, Kripke, the guy that. Uh, wrote and invented uh, the series Supernatural and that's one of my favourite series of all time so I thought this one might be decent but so I've had this one in my collection for probably a year and I just heard so much shit about it that uh, I just kept on putting off watching and because everybody said it so bad like I've very rarely heard a good review for this movie before I mentioned earlier, I've had waxwork in my uh, collection for over two years, probably three years. I only got around to watching it, but let's get back to uh, the Boogeyman here. What I do believe some of the shit this movie, the Boogeyman, gets is fucking, is warranted. I didn't think it was the worst movie in the world ever. It's not great. It is a bit dragged out, and it's only on for like 85 minutes or some shit like that, so it doesn't exactly fly through, but... I have to say, I probably will watch it at least one more time, so it does have rewatch, a little bit of rewatch value, not too much. It's decent, it's it's not epic or anything, but it's okay, like, folks. So, have you seen this movie here, The Boogie Man, 2004 version? Tell me, what, let me know what you thought of it. Now, I'm going to the last one here, and I'll show you, it's Blood Trails. Again, I've had this in my collection for about a year and a half. It's directed by uh, Robert Crowes, I think his name is, and this is a movie that I've had in my collection that I had never watched it before. I'd be quite happy like that, and I had never even watched it at all. Like I'd be quite happy not watching this movie, because it is a fucking, in my opinion, it's a bad movie, not very good at all. There is some okay tension and shit like that, but it's really low budget. I'm not going to say anything wrong though, but the movies if they're done well, but I don't think this one's done, done very well. I thought the lead actress on this was very fucking annoying. All she seemed to do was scream and not make sense. There's one or two okay gar bits in it, but most of the kills they just cut away on that shit, like, and it's just very annoying. They don't show the kills in all their glory, like, so. Anyway, that's the last one here, Blood Trails. So that does it here for episode two of horror movies I watched this week. Give us your thoughts on any of these movies that are shown here if you want to. Give us a comment on so if you feel like it. Talk to you. Thanks for watching.